investors enter the market and financial products continue to evolve, we are seeing new and expanding use cases for market and derived indexes. Beyond those well-established uses like performance benchmarks for active managers and foundational elements for passive funds, we are seeing indexes being used as starting investment universes and as the basis for more complex solutions like structured products. Indexes are also being customized by institutional investors and personalized by wealth managers. Active managers may use the composition or constituents of an index as a starting point for their investment process, which can provide some efficiencies. The mapping of the investable landscape is already done so they can focus resources and attention in the implementation of their investment process. Derived indexes, such as factor indexes, are now also being used as initial universes for active managers. In the case of factor indexes, the index incorporates not only information on the investability of its constituents, but also what stocks are representative of a specific style factor. A similar situation would apply to other derived indexes, such as ESG, climate and thematic indexes, with the inclusion of securities that fit the targeted investment style. Market or derived indexes can be used in structured products, which are investment products designed to obtain a possible return depending on the achievement of predetermined market scenarios. They tend to incorporate more sophisticated financial instruments like derivatives and are considered more complex than more traditional investments like mutual funds. There are times when institutional investors may need a custom index to reflect their specific needs. These client design indexes may be used to better reflect asset allocation views, address an investor's constraints on the ownership of certain market segments, incorporate additional liquidity and investability criteria, or to include specific regulatory guidance. While index providers have created extensive index ranges to help address investors' needs, it can become challenging to anticipate all the different investor circumstances. Also, institutional investors' needs may change over time, or they can include constraints that are transitory in nature and a temporary solution has to be implemented. Sometimes, institutional investors may have requirements that are linked to characteristics specific to the asset class. For example, in fixed income, investors may require an index that focuses on a specific maturity bucket or they may want to exclude certain types of instruments. The concept of personalization of investments has existed for many years, but technological advances have made it easier for wealth managers to determine their clients' preferences and to manage portfolios on a larger scale. This has led to the creation of solutions like direct indexing, which refers to the design of indexes by wealth managers based on the needs and preferences of their clients. We believe that this is an extension of the customization and client-designed index concepts that have been deployed by large institutional investors and it is now available to a wider range of investors with varying portfolio sizes. Tax optimization is another feature that wealth managers use when personalizing investments. It is a rules-based technique that attempts to offset losses against portfolio gains. As indicated, wealth managers may choose to do this at portfolio level with the goal to improve outcomes for their clients.